science and man say the sun is 93 million miles away, way out in outer space. Myself and many brothers and sisters in Christ are trying to tell you and show you that it's local. You will see clouds in front of it and behind it, meaning that it's in the atmosphere in Earth, and it's inside the firmament. It's not out in outer space. It's not 93 million miles away. It is local. This can disprove science and man because they say it's way out in outer space in the center of the universe and all these things. It's the greater light. The moon is the lesser light. They're the same size. They're both local inside the firmament dome. And you can see this with your God-given senses, your eyesight. You can see this and know this. I hope you will understand what this video is showing you. The sun is local. It's not out in outer space 93 million miles away. It is not. Does it look like it's out in outer space right now? Clouds clearly behind. Again, see the see these clouds here? They're in front. See these clouds here? The sun is like watch the sun, the clouds will disappear behind it. See the clouds behind here disappearing? That means it's local and inside. There's clouds in front of it and clouds behind it. It's not out in outer space. If it was out in outer space, all the clouds would be in front of it because the clouds are much closer and local, right? But it's not. The sun is local, clouds in front and clouds behind. It's inside the firmament dome. It is a local sun. It is not 93 million miles away out in outer space. This is a huge clue to get you to know biblical cosmology. I'm not trying to like offend you or be rude or like whatever and just, when I was waking up to this, God was like, hey dummy, the sun and moon are local, they're right there. Once more, very seriously, think, is this way out in outer space or is it right there in the clouds? Is it 93 million miles away in outer space in the center of the universe? Or is it local in the clouds like we're seeing right here?
again, I know the brainwashing of the globe and space is, is hardcore. It, it really is. Coming out of that, it, it's a mentally taxing thing. It really is. For me, anyways. It really took a toll on me at first, but it was very liberating. It made me believe in Jesus and the Bible, just like snap like that. Like I was like, well, well, the world's lying to us. It's Jesus and the Bible. What's been going on here? Why is the world like this? Oh, yeah, you know, the Freemasons and everything, that kind of thing, and the signs and symbols and agendas. Is this out in outer space or is it local in the clouds? For those of you that disbelieve this and hate flat earth and biblical cosmology, once more, just please, please use your common sense and just like, you don't have to trust me or believe me. I'd like you to, but I'm not asking you to do that. I'm asking you to research for yourself so you know it for yourself. Is this sun, the greater light, and the moon's the lesser light, they're the same size, that's why they eclipse each other. Is this local not that far away in the clouds or is it way out in outer space? Please really think about it. People are waking up, and it's a good thing. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Brother Chuck, for your video. The truth does set you free. It can be hard to learn. It can be hard to, to admit you've been deceived in the way that we have been. But we have been deceived. But we have Jesus, and we have the biblical world, and that's where we live. We live in the biblical world, and Jesus is God. He's going to rapture his church. Please know him so you can be saved and go to heaven forever and be my brother or sister, right? God bless you, everyone.